Welcome to Xyron's Inspiration in Motion. You already love Xyron products for their use in scrapbooking, but did you also know that Xyron is terrific for kids' crafts, home decor, school projects, and more? We've created some short project videos to get your creativity juices flowing, so come on in! Hi, I'm Beth Kingston and this is Jessica Barnett and we're here to make this fun wall hanging made out of wood squares that you can find at any craft store. Okay, so tell us how you got this finish on here. This distressed finish, I used a one-step crackle paint mm -hmm. first. Okay. And you just paint that on, I allowed it to dry. Mm -hmm. Then I sprayed it with this uh, mist, it has a metallic finish to it. I sprayed it on and then I actually used a high-tech piece of Kleenex to rub it in. Masterful. Did that cost you a lot? Cost you a ton? It was a major investment. <laughs> and what people need to remember is that you don't need to fill in the whole square because we're actually going to be covering this with paper. So really you just want to get the edges and then a little bit on the inside in case you have yeah. extra. So I'll give you one. I'll take one. Yeah. So we're going to put our background pattern paper on top of the wood blocks. Well, and one of the things I did too was distress oh, yes, all these the distressing. papers. Just to go with the crackled kind of look. I used an edge distressor, which you just kind of pull across the edge, mm -hmm. like so. I went all the way around. I also inked these first using a sponge and an ink pad. You just dab on the ink pad and swirl the ink on there, mm -hmm. and it gives that kind of distressed finish looking to the edge. And I didn't want to see a lot of the white, so once I distressed that edge, I used a little bit of this chalk ink right. to kind of finish that off so it's not a bright white. So we're going to put the paper in the 9-inch uh, creative station and you want to do it with the pattern side facing up that you want to show and we, because we have a little extra room here we're also going to be very thrifty and put this in here as well. So I'll do these and then you're just going to turn the handle and it comes through the other side and I'll do this one through here and you'll run that one there. Are we going to do it together? Yeah. Oh this is good. Okay there you go. This is going to be a test to see who can get theirs more centered because I feel some pressure. And actually while you're doing that I'm going to go ahead and run our numbers through the one and a half inch creative sticker also known as the X or the 150 Xbox some people call it. This will take anything up to the thickness of a nickel so these are actually foam letters I'm just going to run these through and again you want them to be facing up um, in the direction that you want them to go and this just comes right through here. Yeah, and you can keep them all in one place. You know, if you get distracted midway through a project or you have to go cook dinner or something, you can just leave this on here on your table and you don't have to worry about the adhesive coming off. And how did, what did you put the leaves on with? I just used some little sticky spots mm -hmm. on the back and I left them on a piece of Sort of like this so that you, so yeah. they're just ready to go. Perfect. Okay, I'll give you um, these. Then to put them together. I'll start mushing these with our 3 8 runner. Yes, I took some pieces of chipboard. The whole point of those is just to wrap the ribbon that we're gonna use to attach these pieces together. You can't tell from the front because it looks like it's a long piece that goes all the way down, and mm -hmm. it's not. It's shorter pieces, so you use less ribbon also. Right. That is all I did. Stuck them, wrapped the ribbon in them like that, and then when I put them on the back, I just laid them on there and I used my staple gun and stapled through this mm -hmm. so the ribbon's not going to tear and it's not going to fall apart. And if you're working with a you're heavier so project, <laughs> that's a risk that you're taking. Right. So now we've got the back all stapled and you can see that Jessica, again, folded the chipboard under, stapled twice on each end and it's completely adhered but in a different way. Mm -hmm. And it looks super cute. So if you'll show us how to trim the bottoms and tie off the top. Yep. I'm just going to tie a knot in the top. Okay. Since it's boys. Yes. No bows for us boys. No. They don't appreciate that. <gasps> yeah, that turned out really cute. And I'm just kind of going to eyeball to get these about the same length. Mm-hmm. And this was using the Cosmo Cricut wanted line. Mm -hmm. Perfect for cowboys. Yes. See? Again, genius. I totally love it. For more information about this project or other great Xyron products and videos, check us out at Xyron.com. And now, square dancing. Oh, nice. Bounty bump, bump, bump.